Hello guys, my name is Isa Rodriguez. I'm the keys player and music director at Lutheran Church of Hope here in West Des Moines, Iowa. And I'm here today to try the new app from Sunday Keys. I'm here to give my first impression, so let's get right into it. This is coming from an iPad, you know, something that you carry in your backpack. And this is something that can be played at church. Um, man, this is, yeah, this is awesome. Um, I mean, you can utilize everything. Piano sound. It's just not, it doesn't sound like it's coming from an iPad. Sounds like it's coming from my Mac. Um, the pads, I mean, it's not some chorus. Very smooth in the touch. I don't need to feel like I need to double touch anything. Very smooth. This is good. <laughs> this is good. Let's try another sound. Breathe to praise. That's me. Just. Ooh. Ooh, this is, I like this. Organ, ambient, simple. Okay. Let's try this from scratch. I try it. I always, every time, every time I build a sound, I always usually start from scratch just because that way I can see what are the sounds like, what do I want, so... Hey, come on. So I like this ARP, <laughs> it's called Simple Worship ARP. And I assume have delayed verb on it. Let me try this organ ambient. If I ever would, if I ever would util utilize this sound, would it be when they do an announcement at church? So like, if they, after we finish with the worship set, and usually a lot of churches they do announcements and they usually have the band, you know, you bring this. You have the band playing behind you. able to play, you're able to go to church, you're able to do all the stuff that you do from an iPad. Very affordable. Mostly of the people have an iPad. If you don't have, it's not very expensive, like a keyboard or like a Nord or like whatever it is. Yeah, this is, this is the future. So any more Lush EP sound. So let's give this a try. I love EPs for the Dominican Republic. So back when I was a kid, I used to play a lot of EPs. So See? That's my real house. Let's go to E.
Another thing that is also that I like that is in here is the tonic pad. The tonic. Tonic is when I use sound the keys, it's my baby. I cannot play without anywhere that I go without my tonic. So here you click. I mean, you have all your different. I loved the evolving tonic pad. I just that's my to go. Let's turn it on in E. This is my favorite. I mean, every Sunday at church, that's my go-to. Every time I need to start a song. If you see my, my key scans, I usually use my, that's Tony Pack. Yeah, that Tony, yeah, it's, it adds a lot. Felt piano, lush pads, strap this sound. The violin waves, goodness gracious, the violin. That's, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Put some strings up. This is what I like about the tonic pad. It's just like, sometimes I want to be free in the piano. I don't want the pads to be following me everywhere I go because I might move a lot. Usually I don't use a lot of pads, especially when the pads are strapping up, especially if I'm feeling that I'm going to come back playing a lot of pianos. I can just have my tonic pack in. I love the involving option one and I just bring it down a little bit more. just back there. I mean, mostly of, the, mostly of the time when I move, it just sounds like it's following me, but it's not. Just staying in the E. And it allows me to be free. It allows me not maybe add a lot of, not to be more muddy. Sometimes it could be if you're moving a lot, if you're moving quick. If I play, Pastor's wrapping up. You want to bring some? Very low. Now you can add a little bit more movement. Smooth. I mean, uh, you touch it, it's just there, you bring the pads down. If you're a very piano guy, if you have Sunday keys, you say, every time I'm playing spirit keys, or every time I love to play behind somebody, I love to do piano stuff, you use, you use your tonic and find the best one. Sometimes you don't have a guitar player or maybe, you know, whatever is the option, but we have an option for a guitar. So let's try that. Boom, let's go to the core of B. Let's turn it on. So if you don't have a guitar player, 
and you're like, well, I like to hear guitars behind me, or I like to hear guitar solos, or you have this, that sounds phenomenal. And it's just, it's there. I don't have to worry much if it's getting too muddy, if it's getting too washy, whatever you want to call it. And I can be free with my chords. So, I mean, and I had tiny bit, just tiny bit of those pads laying in the bottom. So if I go here, you can hear a little bit of the brightness. Is that something sometimes that I look for a lot when I use when I use some of the keys? It's just that brightness on the top, but it's not getting muddy at all. Not, I mean, you cannot beat that. Um, so let's try now and let's build a sound from scratch. We go here, uh, we create the patch, let's go to sound, sound like keys, pianos. Let me see, let me hear my acoustic pianos. And I have a church grand felt piano. I usually a really felt guy. So let's add the sound, bam. Here we are. That's a delay. Let's try that delay. You should like the delay. Chorus also. Off. Now let's try to add a pad. Usually I pick my first one is my warm pad. It's gonna be my base pad. That's what I usually call it. It's gonna be my foundation. Um, we go to grab, let's call the altar call pad. Let's bring it up. That's it. This is just my shims. I like usually like 40% of shims. So now we have, bring the piano up, bring the pads down. Now that's usually what I like. Have the pads as a foundation. My third one, I like the violin, the strings, things. The game of the strings is on the keys, it's unreal. And I mean, I love all of the sounds. Um, so we go to strings and let's see what we have here. Boom. Usually I pick my violin waves because I use my, my waves as a, if I don't have nobody swelling with me, when we trying to do that prayer thing and I want to hear something happen in the back, a little bit of motion. I'm gonna bring my two sounds down. That's what I like to hear. Because it sounds like a guitar is coming. I usually come in, put it really down. I add my verb, turn it up. But I bring it super down. I bring my pads up. Piano up. And you can hear like sounds some sort of swell. Let 
That's what I like to hear. That little bit of a swell sounds like somebody swelling with a guitar. And then my, my last sound that I usually pick, if I'm gonna create a patch, uh, it will be another strings. I love strings, uh, big strings guy. And here you have also the strings assembled. Now, let's add the shim. Never forget the shims. The shims are 40%. But now, I bring it down. Usually, if I were to play this. Kind of that level. Bring my swells. Pads up. Down is up. Easy as that. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, subscribe to Sonic Keys YouTube channel. Hit the like button. Hit the notifications button. I'm very glad that you guys watch this video and I can wait for the next one. See you then.